In this video, we're going to be opening up 50 of these new mystery packs in NBA 2K22 My Team. As you guys can see, we have 50 of these packs to open in this video. And if you guys don't know, there's a chance you can pull invincible cards. I've seen a bunch of people pulling invincible Evan Mobley. I've seen Kobe Bryant. I've seen some other next cards like Chad Holgram, Jabari Smith. There is going to be a very unlikely chance we get those high dark matters, but you never know, man. I've seen a bunch of people pull dark matters. And guys, that's going to be the goal for this video. A lot of it's just going to be silver and bronze contracts, which is obviously going to be boring to watch. But we have 50 to go through, so I'll just cut the parts where we actually get some good cards. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Okay, we get a diamond to start off. That's not terrible. We'll take a free diamond player. But yeah, I'll just explain how the event works really quickly for people that maybe don't know. So basically, after every single game you play, no matter what game mode, it can be T2 offline, online, limited, unlimited. It can be in challenges. It can be any single game mode in the my team game mode. You will get this free mystery pack. And that's basically what I'm hoping. That's how the event works. There's no extra stuff you have to do. Just every game you win, not play every game you win, you will get one of these mystery packs. So we're just going to go through open 50 of them and then just see what we get. Like I said, you can pull dark matters. It's going to be very unlikely. It's going to be like trying to pull dark matter in packs, which is very unlikely. But you never know, man, especially if you hit on a dark matter and it's like an invincible Mobley or Kobe or insane like Chet Holgram or Jabari Smith. That's obviously going to make you a ton of MT. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below how many mystery packs have you guys opened and let me know your best pull so far. And if you guys haven't opened any of them yet, let me know how many you guys have saved up and then just let me know what you guys think about the event as a whole. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go through all 50 of these packs and see if we can see a dark matter. That's obviously going to be our main goal. Anything else is still cool. Like you're getting some gold badges. You're getting some contracts, which is going to be nice to add to your collection, to add to your account. But overall, to make MT, you really want to see a Galaxy Opal or a dark matter. But yeah, mostly, mainly just going to be some contracts. We are now 20 packs into the pack opening here. We have 30 left and our best pull was that diamond. We've only got a diamond in 20 packs, which is definitely a little bit annoying. I think honestly, the event could be a little bit better if they just made, you know, opals more pullable, pink diamonds more pullable, because it is really boring just opening up these packs like off camera. And if you guys like opening them like at home, it's just kind of like, you know, you're just getting bronze contracts. Like, I mean, yeah, it's cool to add to your collection and I'm not going to complain about contracts. You can actually make a decent amount of MT from them, but it would just be cool to see some more players flying out of them. Maybe like the occasional Hall of Fame badge. But when you're just getting bronze and, you know, bronze badges, gold contracts, it's really not that exciting to open. But obviously, you never know. There can be that one Dark Matter shake, maybe even Opal that goes for a lot of MT. I just think 2K, if they want to do an event like this, they should just have more players flying out of the packs. And I'm not even saying to give like, like everyone Dark Matters. Just give us some like just give us some opals give us some pink diamonds just at least give us some players like you shouldn't go five to ten packs without seeing a single player on your screen it's kind of defeats the purpose like i mean it's just kind of boring we finally get a player it's going to be ruby jonathan kamingo is probably quick sell price like i said guys not gonna make the most mt from this but you never know if you see that dark matter shake we all know how much those uh, those kobe's those evan mobley's how much those invincible cards are going to go for but yeah guys let me know what you guys think about the event down below and let me know what do you guys think they could do to make it better me personally i like the event where it's if you win one game you get this free pack obviously all you have to do to win the game and you get a free pack i'm not expecting every pack to be juiced i'm not expecting every pack to have players in them but i'm just saying there should be more players more higher to your cards diamonds pink diamonds opals should be flying out of packs a lot more because when you see a player there's probably like a 99 percent chance it's just going to be a ruby card and at this point in the year ruby cards pretty much quick sell value nobody uses ruby cards like yeah okay i'm getting players back to back lebron and derrick rose but they don't sell for anything no one's going to really use them i'm just going to quick sell them and then move on to the next pack so it'll be cool to see some newer diamonds some newer pink diamonds and opals and like i said not in every single pack just maybe one in every like three to four packs, three to five packs. I feel like you should be getting at least a diamond or above. It would definitely make them a lot more exciting to open and you would have a way better chance to make MT from this event. But overall, not gonna complain about free content at this point in the year. And with 2K's been in the past, we just cannot complain about free content. At least we're getting something, something to grind over the weekend, some reason to play the game over the weekend. We see a shake. Okay, see that's not a bad pack at all, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is not a bad pack at all. You should be seeing this every five packs, but we're like half, we're 25 packs into the video. But we're gonna get another diamond player here. It's gonna be a center. I don't know what conference. It's gonna be from the LA Lakers, 1997, 1998. 
Is that? I was going to say Kareem for some reason. That's not Kareem. That's Shaq. I mean, okay, we get the Colossal Shaq. He may actually have some value. We'll check him at the end of the video. Shaq actually might have some value because he was like the first diamond in the entire game. So he's going to be super rare, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, another Amethyst player. There we go, man. Now packs are finally starting to heat up a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. The packs should be more like these last three or four packs where we're seeing Amethyst, Diamond. We're seeing Amethyst and Diamond players in the same pack. That's what we want to see, 2K. We want to see those in every single pack because, yes, I'm most likely just going to quick sell the Blake Griffins every time, but at least I'm seeing some Amethyst. I get an out of position Ben Simmons. That's actually a W. We have 13 packs left here, guys. Can we see a Dark Matter shake? Most likely not. But you never know, man. Packs are really starting to heat up a little bit. Probably shouldn't have backed out. I think I was kind of on like a hot streak there. I backed out because I wanted to see how many packs we had left. So we have 12 left. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Just let, let, just, just let me know your guys' thoughts about the event. Anything about the event, just comment down below. Also, if you guys are making it this far into the video, I really do appreciate all of you guys watching my videos, whether it's tier lists, whether it's ranking top tens, whether it's gameplays, whatever you guys do watch. I just want to give you guys a massive thank you. You guys have really changed my life about YouTube and all that type of stuff. You know, we're at 9,000 subscribers, and that's all due to you guys. So I just want to give you guys a massive thank you for all my guys that actually watch the videos all the way through and that actually watch most of my videos. I just want to give you guys a massive thank you because honestly, it's just it's just been a blessing man i can't lie obviously we're gonna keep grinding we're going for 10k next but yeah i just appreciate everyone that's staying around you know on the grind we're definitely gonna get there soon but yeah let's get back into the pack open it man we're gonna see how much that shot goes for at the end we got eight um eight packs remaining also guys comment down a little mystery pack if you guys made it this far into the video so i know who got so i know who watched the entire video just comment down below mystery pack but yeah seven more come on man what could we see can we see some dark matters probably not but you never know man you never know i also am on, i also am on mad's account so i'm trying to get him some polls here he's probably gonna be a bit pretty disappointed when he watches the video he's gonna see literally no shakes at all pretty much except for a diamond shack and that's really what you're gonna have to expect if you guys are gonna open these packs don't expect to see dark matters don't even expect to see pink diamonds or opals because it's most likely not gonna happen your highest expectation should really be a diamond to be honest and then some gold contracts and some silver badges that's really all you're gonna get from these packs which like i said isn't terrible i'm not gonna complain about it but i think 2k could definitely make this event a lot better we have three more packs to go here man what can we get if we see a dark matter though that would actually be crazy that'd be so much mt to mad's account we're gonna get two more contract or two more um consumables there two more silver consumables come on man two more mystery packs two more mystery packs what are we gonna get it's gonna be a nothing nothing pretty much a nothing pack we'll just quick sell that contract all right guys last pack here man last pack of the video what are we gonna pull is it gonna be anything crazy and i mean that's pretty much to be expected a bronze contract and a gold rebound chaser but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to drop a like down below that'll catch you guys in the next one peace